Hello and welcome back to my Sheep Know My Voice. I want to just share with you today a little bit about the concept of what are you reflecting? What is the reflection that comes off of your life? Um, amidst storms, amidst peace, you know, through all the different phases of life, what is it that you are reflecting? And this came to my mind and, and God really impressed it upon my heart when we were away on vacation. We were in the Adirondacks for a week and we rented a house on a lake and it was a smaller lake than what we normally um, stay on and it was you know somewhat more um, secluded and surrounded by trees and you know um, much smaller so there was no motor boats allowed on it because it is so small um, you could kayak around the whole lake in like 10 minutes you know so that gives you an idea of how small um, it was, but it was very peaceful. It was very serene. And so when you think about um, the lake water in terms of life, there were no distractions and noises of, you know, people going by on their boats or the noise of the boats or people talking near you in, in houses or cottages around you. It was very quiet. And there was a day well, more than one day, but there was a day that as God was speaking this to me, I, I fully recognized what he was saying. And as I looked in the natural, you know, I could see this beautiful um, landscape of the, you know, other side of the lake from where we were. And it was perfectly being reflected into the water, a mere, like a mirror image. And I, I'm sure you've seen photographs of that um, type of thing. Uh, before and so you know what God was really saying is you know in the spirit in the same way when we can be still before the Lord as the, as the word says be still and know that I am God and so in the midst of a storm in the this is in the spirit of course in the natural if there's wind if there's storm the water gets um, moved and um, you know, uh, instigated, uh, and and it doesn't stay calm, right? It gets perturbed by the movement of the wind, the force of the wind. But in the stillness, it has this perfect mirror reflection that takes place. And so in the spirit, for us, we want to think about that in the sense that in the spirit, if we remain still and we know that he is God, it doesn't matter if the wind comes, doesn't matter if there's storms, if there's distractions, people talking around us. We can still reflect who he is. We can reflect his glory. So it, it, his presence reflects in what we say, what we do, our mannerisms, our facial expressions, how we treat other people is reflected. And so I wanted to just encourage you with that today to consider, you know, what am I reflecting as I go throughout life, as I go throughout my day, as I'm on the job, when I'm with my family, you know, when things don't go my way, am I reflecting his presence? Am I reflecting him? And am I taking the time to be still and know that he is God? And one of the things that I was reading about orification is recovery and rest and how we find recovery and rest and 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 that's ultimately found in his presence and in communion with him it doesn't mean that we can't be doing relaxing things like just laying down and resting or reading a book or watching a favorite you know program or having a nice conversation with someone it doesn't mean we have to be on our knees in prayer but i think sometimes we confuse rest and recovery for social media time, you know, phone time, watching YouTube videos. While that could be okay, it can also consume our time. It can also diminish the stillness that we want to create and actually cause more distraction. Um, so it's something that we have to keep tabs on. It's something that we have to have discipline with. So ask yourself those questions today. You know, what, are, what am I doing for rest and recovery? What am I doing to find the stillness and the peace before the Lord? What is it that I am reflecting? So be blessed today.